Today we're taking a look at Nico Maku's best dash cam yet. This is the AS4 Max 12 inch 1080p mirror. And what I really like about it is it has a built in battery so you can get parking monitoring even if you don't get a hardwire kit. It also has one of the best anti-glare screens that I've seen. It's up there with my OEM from my car manufacturer. So driving at night is not an issue. You do not get blinded by those high beams. And I also like the fact that it does have GPS. So you can plug in that GPS module to get your actual speed and to record your location. And finally, the ability to mount the rear camera inside of my car is something I've been waiting for. I'm not all about drilling through my trunk just to enable a rear camera. So this is absolutely awesome. Now what I like about this dash cam style is you get that OEM look, you get that straight from the factory look. Now if you do have one of those fancy mirrors that has OnStar or has this star or that star, or electronic this, electronic that, this is not going to work for you. But if you have a regular mirror that you can just unscrew, this is going to be the, the perfect replacement in my opinion. You get a lot of great features in here that you'd expect in a high-end mirror. But what I like about this dash cam is not only do you get that OEM style look, but you also get a built-in battery. And I always said dash cams should have GPS and they should have built-in batteries. Well this dash cam has both, meaning if you don't want to get that hardwire kit, which I, I still highly recommend that you get it. But if you don't want to get that hardwire kit, this is gonna this is still gonna be able to record. It's still gonna give you the parking monitor because it does have a 500 milliamp hour battery inside. What's also unique about this brand new mirror is that we do have an anti-glare coating on the top, which is perfect for driving at night. There's nothing worse than getting those high beams in your rear view mirror. So with this anti-glare coating, it's definitely going to help reduce that, reduce that glare and reduce that frazzle dazzle coming from those high beams behind you. But let's just take a look at what else we get inside the box here before we go ahead and before we go ahead and set it up and drive together. This is everything that you get in the box. Now I did mention in the beginning of the video that this is an OEM style mirror. So you can go ahead and replace your existing mirror, but they give you these straps. All you have to do is go ahead and strap this on to your existing mirror if that's how you want to use it. But if not, all you have to do is switch out this plate and then this way it'll allow you to, to get that OEM look. So you have two ways that you can install it. Here's your rear camera and it's a very premium metal housing so I definitely like this as well. And something new with this Nico Maku mirror is we also get the ability to, to mount it a little bit differently. So if you want to mount it inside your car instead of drilling through and and trying to get this wire through your trunk or whatnot, you can use this you can use this bracket and mount it inside of your car. So I kind of like this. I like this I like this new style. They know a lot of people don't want to drill through their cars. I'm one of those people so you can go ahead put on this tape here and kind of get the perfect fit. But that's basically it. This is everything that you get in the box, guys. So let's go ahead, turn it on and check out some of the settings. This is the best camera that Nakumiku has ever made, guys. It has built-in battery, it has GPS, it has an anti-glare coating that rivals that of my actual car manufacturer's rear mirror. So they did a really good job sourcing a high-quality lens, a high-quality mirror. Within the settings, there's not that many settings that I want to show you, but you can lower the resolution from 1080 to an HD quality at 30 frames a second. The next option that we have is your movie clip time. So if you want the recordings to be shorter, you can have a one minute recording or up to a five minute recording. Here's your night mode setting. You can turn that on or off and night mode will actually increase the brightness of your mirror when you drive at night. Here's your smart LCD brightness now. Your smart LCD brightness will either brighten up or dim in the screen depending on the time of day. With streaming rear cam, the minute you turn on your camera, it's gonna default to that rear camera. So if that's something you want every time you jump in the car to see your rear view, leave that turned on. Here's your protect level, high, middle, or low. Here's your parking monitor, turn that on or off. For those of you that don't like to drive with a video feed, you wanna turn this LCD power save to either one, two, or three minutes. And this will turn off the LCD altogether, but if you do like that screensaver mode, just leave this turned to off and you'll default to that screensaver. When the screen turns off, it's going to default to this screensaver. If you change that setting to either one, two, or three minutes, it's going to turn off the entire screen. Another thing I want to mention about this mirror, some, some LCD mirrors, the brightness is just a little bit too much at night. So I think Nakumiku did a good job. The, the LCD brightness, when you are in this, when you are in this screensaver type of mode, is not super bright. It's actually really well done from Nakumiku so you can leave this on and it won't distract you if you don't like having any lights around you. Now I drive in some pretty dark roads at night so I definitely know the difference between this camera and some other cameras that I've tried. So again I think Nakumiku did a really good job with this LCD panel. It's not super bright at night but you can increase that brightness via the settings if you want to. And then the last setting I want to show you is for your speed unit so either miles per hour or kilometers. This camera from Nakumiku is a 1080p front and rear camera, but I think they did a really good job with their price to quality ratio. 
we're getting some really high quality tech in here so we are getting that anti-glare coating that honestly is the best that i've tried so far and they did a really good job of sourcing this lcd panel so it's not overly bright at night but it does get bright enough during the day so you can see behind it so the quality again of this screen of this lcd panel is really really good but let's go for a drive you guys let me know what you think about the quality and if you have any questions let me know down in the comments below let's jump in the car and go for it